I went to Belize as part of the Problems Without Passports program and the problem we were investigating was the collapse of the ancient Maya society. The Mayan civilization, uh, kind of almost a mythical civilization steeped in allure and fascination for centuries. Since the discovery basically of abandoned temples and monuments found deep within the jungle of Belize and of Mexico in the Yucatan area. We learned about the agricultural and, and social issues that led to their collapse and how that parallels what we're experiencing environmentally today as a society. Some of what we did to evaluate the problem of collapse is to evaluate current scholarship, including working with the current archaeologist that actually has dig sites within Belize. There was an applied science side to it, as well as sociological side, and that's kind of what environmental studies is all about to me, the interdisciplinary side of it learning about how humans interact with their environment. We were definitely solving a problem, or at least learning about a problem. We had a pretty significant service learning experience. It was fascinating to drive two hours into the jungle and then arrive on some thatched roofs, and this is the high school. The group split into two. One group went to a high school, and then one group went to an elementary school. In the high school, we taught lessons on algebra, on geometry. In the elementary school, we taught lessons on simple addition and subtraction, on English. But at the same time, they were teaching us so much about you know, their culture, and it was a very mutual experience. It kind of gave a greater purpose to the trip in that we were having a cultural exchange. It wasn't just like we go down, have a good time, and then come back to USC. We were contributing something while we were there, which made a big difference. I think that USC Dornsife recognizes the need for students to experience this, this global earth, to see things like less developed nations, see other ways of life in places other than Los Angeles, other than the United States. None of my other friends at other universities have these kinds of opportunities. These are definitely not termites. <laughs> these are ants. Those are ants, you just ate an ant. I just ate an ant, but it tasted fine. <laughs> this is why you don't eat anything from the jungle unless there's a guide. It looks like a termite nest, and there were little black things in it. And so I assumed that they were termites. But they weren't, because they didn't taste like carrots, you could tell. <laughs>